no idea what to expect. Don't even know what she looks like. I don't even know if we have the same dad. I mean, we might look alike. God, that would be weird. Imagine if we were identical. Another nasty. Just out there. I mean, I know she's lived in care most of her life, but do you reckon you could tell by looking? I mean, I don't think I've ever met anybody in care before. All I've seen is Tracy Mika. Do you reckon they all live in big houses and wear secondhand clothes? <laughs> you should have seen his face. Mark, the care worker. When I asked him about Shell, I did not know that eyebrows could raise that high. But what, what does it mean? He didn't actually say anything. Is it bad? I mean, surely if it was good, he would actually say something. God, what happens if she's like our birth mother? Junkie, all skinny and scary. More tattoos than teeth. Could be genetic, couldn't it? Passed from mother to daughter. God, what happens if it's in my blood? Guess I'm lucky I got mum and dad. I had a proper upbringing in a proper home. I know what it's like to be loved. Shell probably doesn't. Maybe she doesn't even know how to love. I mean, all the moving around, no parents. That surely does damage, doesn't it? It's weird. That could have been me and care. It's like the parent trap crossed with EastEnders. I'm on the California vineyard and she's squatting in Albert Square. God, she's gonna hate me. I mean, what's our first meeting gonna be like? What, what are we actually gonna say? She's gonna have so many questions. Like, why was I adopted and why was she in care her whole life? It's like, I don't know. Mark says we can meet for the first time whenever I want to, but I don't know. It feels tense. I want to wait a bit longer. I want to decide what I want to say. I mean, I know she's my sister, technically, but we've not seen each other in a really long time and I wouldn't even recognise her if I saw her on the street, you know?